Hello everybody, this is Commander Strain and welcome back to Armored Warfare. I've got some more gameplay footage for you from the 0.19 Russian public test server. Driver we're on the pipelines map and we're in the absolutely sexy looking TATB, the tier 6 progression tank. Now this target. is fully upgraded with the full ERA package and as you can see it looks absolutely fabulous. It really does look great. Um, but we have got quite a difficult um, matchmaker here. We've got two tier sixes, myself and a type 92. One tier seven, and the rest are all tier eight. Exactly the same for the enemy team there. Some really early smoke from someone, I guess just pressing the button and seeing how it works. So, um, interesting game, as I said. We're gonna push up uh, as best we can up towards the actual refinery. As the case is on the Russian test server, there's a lot of, of direct movement in one direction, and this is something that I, mean, I don't particularly like, but heck, you know, you have to roll with it uh, while you're testing. As you can see on the left side of the map, we've only got one of our fours. I pop some smoke there as we get spotted pushing up. I see lots of uh, vehicles in the middle. We had a chance of taking a shot at that VBR, but unfortunately, we didn't pull the trigger. But well, I see a lot of our MBTs are now actually in the uh, refinery area, so I decide to head across the map to see if I can help our uh, M8 and our, what is it over there, our Leopard, and engage the vehicles in the middle of the map. Then we spot this wild T-72B on the hill, aim a shot at him, but he gets taken out before we can, can fire. So this vehicle looks nice. It's not got a bad gun. Um, the uh, armor piercing uh, fin stabilized discarding Sabo penetration is 450 millimeters. The heat penetration is 500 millimeters. And both shells do between 468 and 572 damage. So again, we're pushing up across the middle, and we see that the uh, M8 and the Leo 2A4 are coping quite well with the vehicles in the middle. And uh, we're already three vehicles up. And now we can see if we can get some shots on anything that's fighting in the refinery area. So just poking up this road, we see a tier 8 M102. Lovely shot there. 464 damage into the side of the hull. Um, we do a little bit of module, minor module damage as well. We have now some backup from the other, um, sorry, from the tier 7, the Type 92 there. Um, we can see some more vehicles over there. Let's see if we get some shots high angle fail to fuse so getting the right angle um, in this game is becoming increasingly important lovely shot there straight into the cupola 486 damage so as i was saying you can now in the game angle your tank a little bit to help increase overall protection value because some of these shells at certain angles they will fail to fuse. Now we put another shot into the AK there. It takes some return fire as well. And there you can see a tier 8 vehicle doing 442 damage to us. And we were doing 462 damage to him. So a tier 6 can compete with a tier 8, gun on gun wise. What I'm finding though on the Russian test server, especially when I'm in a tier 6 or a tier 7 playing against a tier 8, the dynamic here is really push aggressively to go. And if you're a vehicle on your own, you are going to get taken out. So anyway, um, we are up to 1,400 damage. We lead the game by three tanks. And now I see that our base is being capped on the side. So I've got to try and head back towards the capture to try and do some defending. We've got a Leo 2A4 Evolution over on C2 all alone. And we've got some vehicles over on the hill in the, the I-9 area. Uh, and then we've got MVTs fighting around the refinery itself. And no one is going back at the moment to defend. So we I get spotted, we push back, okay. and we see another Tier 8 tank, another M1A2 Abrams. Seems to be a very, very popular vehicle on test server. Just aiming at him. Again, we hit um, a non-vital part of this tank. Don't penetrate, don't do any damage. And again, there's still another vehicle in the cap circle. But I've got to try and do something about this M1A2 before we can go any further. And we fire again, no penetration. So at range, sometimes against the tier 
uh, 8 vehicle. We have a pen bomb. No, apologies. The constant hit in there. God, I was so eager to get the missile loaded. And then when we fire it, all we do is minor damage to his track and low HP damage. But our team's 12-6, so the game is as good as one. But I really want to try and get a little bit more damage. So I've switched back to um, the main gun, um, firing at it. An AP round loaded. Uh, we just couldn't get any sort of position on that M1A2 where we could actually do some damage. So then I decided to reposition my vehicle, push over as best I can and see if we can actually get some damage. And, but it's already 12-3. Our team has won this game and I'll be honest, I'm not going to do any more damage in this game. But I think just show you that you can compete as a tier 6 in a tier 8 game. But you have to make sure you don't get caught out alone. Um, a single tank alone um, in this patch, if you get rushed by two or three, you will get taken out. But there you go, guys. The TATB Tier 6 progression tank. I like it. So let's take a look at the post-game stats. I did 1,412 damage. Yes, it was all to that single initial M1A2 Abrams. I bounced a lot of shells, but I also got four spots, and I did 1,370 spotting damage. It wasn't the best game ever, but considering it was the first game I actually got in the TATB after purchasing it, and we did get a Tier 8 game, ah, I did okay. We'll have to see how it goes later on, though. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you on the battlefield.